guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is all about rat enrichment. I thought it'd be really interesting to show you the enrichment I give my rats every single day for a week. So without further ado, let's start with today, which is Monday. So today they've got this and if you watched my vlog, which was a few videos before this one, it is literally just some leftover packaging from a business called A Rat's Tail. They sent us a few handmade toys and this is the leftover packaging. There is also a few bits of loose toys in here we've got different wicker balls. <laughs> the rats are straight in, we've got wicker balls, bits of willow, but I'm gonna scatter some of their main food mix in this and just let them completely forage in this and probably get it all over the carpet. So I'm gonna put some food in and let them forage. So this is something you can give your rats for free. You don't have to spend any money. If you have any deliveries with this kind of like shredded cardboard or tissue paper that uses non-toxic dyes, you can use this with your rats, you don't have to spend any money, and it gives them some free entertainment. I'm also going to hide a few nicer high value treats inside of the wicker balls just to make things a little bit more difficult for them. So on the days where they're not getting their main mix in a foraging toy or something, they do just get scattered fed their food on the base of the cage and that might sound really boring to us just because it literally takes me seconds to chuck the food in but to them they're using all of their main senses and natural instincts to sniff out the food, dig and forage for the food and it probably takes them hours to find every single piece so probably one of the biggest forms of enrichment you can give them and that's why I always always recommend having some sort of loose substrate on the base of the cage just to give them so much daily enrichment on a daily basis. So I do usually have a bit more bedding in the base of the cage than this, this is just what I had left over and I ran out without realising so I have kind of topped this up with some packaging I got um, just to make it a bit more textured and difficult I can scatter food in the cardboard section and they can also dig around in the hemp so that's the bedding situation at the moment. Not as much as I'd usually put in, but still enriching for them, still plenty to dig in. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So I've just got their daily amount of food in this mug. It's about three quarters worth, weighed out for four male rats. And all I do is literally just chuck this in, kind of evenly distribute it amongst the bedding and leave them to it. <laughs> So for today's enrichment I thought I'd try something a bit different. I do often give them toilet rolls, scrunched up, folded up with treats or their mix inside and just place it on the base of the cage but I wanted to step it up and make it a bit more difficult for them. Definitely more difficult for me because I'm going to have to try to attempt to poke this foraging kebab stick thingy through the toilet rolls and hang this in the cage so I'm going to try and do that now, wish me luck. And hopefully it works, I can envision what it's going to look like, but possibly it might not end up that way. <laughs> so first I'm going to try to get the wooden blocks off because they're just going to get in the way. And they don't really serve much purpose, they've not really chewed them, so I really need to try and get these off first. This is where I end up impaling myself with a really blunt piece of metal. Oh my gosh, why is it so tough?
Oh, there we go. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna do this off camera because I'm not having much luck. Okay, we're on. I just need to fold the edges and put in some treats. I'm gonna go with banana chips because they like them and they always go down really well. Today's enrichment is all based around their dig box. They do always have access to a dig box, whether it's in their cage or in this spot in the room, but it was looking a bit disgusting. I have topped up the soil with fresh soil. This is just cocoa soil from Amazon. And then I've also bought them some potted herbs. This one is basil, this one is parsley. And then to go with that, I also have some foraging mix and then a couple of live mealworms. I didn't have too many left, so I'm gonna scatter these in the dig box and also plant them the herbs too. So today's enrichment is going to be more simple just because I don't feel good but it's still enriching for them because it does take them a bit longer to get the food rather than just giving it to them so I'm going to fill up their bamboo foraging toys. We've got this one, hello humbug, and then also this one up here too. So I've got their food weighed out into this mug, crumble that is cheating, and I'm just going to distribute it into this foraging toy and the one at top and then that is pretty much it. Today's enrichment is quite literally just a toilet roll. I was gonna give them an entire big roll, but I mean, and I kinda wanna keep some for myself. Um, so I'm just gonna find somewhere to attach this in the cage. They can chew this, shred this, rip it up, and use it as nesting material as well. So I'm gonna put this in the cage, and that is today's enrichment. <laughs> I do have a feeling they're probably not going to do too much with this whilst I'm stood here because they are far too interested in coming out to see what I'm doing but I might just have to show you the destruction of this after a few hours maybe. It is Saturday and for today's enrichment I'm just going to give them their foraging wheel um, with some of their daily mix inside and boys you are cheating you can't just help yourself it is not a buffet so I'm just stuffing some of their daily mix whisper excuse me into the foraging toy I find it easy to do it like this rather than when it's attached to the cage because doing it vertically is very difficult excuse me <laughs> So I need to be quick, otherwise they're going to get full on this food and have no enrichment because helping yourself is not very interesting. Can I just put this on the cage, please? You act like you don't get fed, but the size of you says otherwise, Crumble. So 
for today's enrichment, the last enrichment of the week, I've got this foraging toy. This was kind of gifted to us from a company called A Rat's Tail, and I've not had a chance to use it with them yet, so this is going to be completely new and novel to them, and we're going to get their first reaction. If you can hear them at the moment, they are currently trying to escape the cage, so let's see what they think. So I've got two different types of treats. I've got chocolate drops and chicken dreamies, I think. These should hopefully be small enough to fit in the holes, but also small enough for them to be interested and try to seek them out. So I've left a few of them without these things in just to get them used to dipping their heads in for the treats, but they are all off exploring the rest of the room. They've not even noticed, so I might be here for a while. that is it for this week and this week's video I hope you guys have found this interesting and cute and maybe it's given you a few ideas of some enrichment you can do with your rats but don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you in my next video bye